Well, they're in around the back here, Cheltenham. It's a good save, and it comes out to Harrison. And the opening goal of the game goes Cheltenham's way. Just eight minutes gone. Well, it was Terry Cordell's shot that was pushed out by Ryan Clark in a simple space here for Cedo Giambarti. Good ball across. Oxford failing to clear. It comes out to Cordell. He couldn't miss. It was Byron Harrison denied. It's a combination that combined for the first goal. This time it's Harrison who saw his effort saved. Byron Harrison, it's in, and the flag has stayed down. Cheltenham back on terms. Lead lasted 11 minutes. Byron Harrison sneaking in. Downward header. 1 1. And the header comes in, and it is eventually into the back of the net. The hosts have to lead through Byron Harrison. A close range, 12 minutes, 1 0 Cheltenham. Harrison and Byron Harrison finds the finish and Cheltenham with a breakthrough goal. Seventh free goal of the season for Harrison. Harrison made room for the shot to get deflection. And beats Luke McCormack and Byron Harrison will claim the opening goal. Cheltenham take the lead on his 50th appearance for the club. Byron Harrison marks it with his 10th ball in as well for Byron Harrison to head Cheltenham into the lead. Midway through the second half, it is the substitute who scored it. An 11th goal of the season for Harrison. Pushed across, and he's ended up in the back of the net. Well, Byron Harrison looks as though he's claiming the goal, but all the credit must go to Jermaine McGlashan. The corner, Harrison. Cheltenham have got a goal back, Matt Richards with the corner, Byron Harrison. Amsterdam. Last nine away from home. Cheltenham looking to get the Chelsea in front draw, and they have done in some style through Byron Harrison. It's a terrific effort. He's 14th of the season, 12 minutes on the clock. Two wins in their last 11 league games for Exeter. On the back foot here, and a chance, Byron Harrison, it's it. On the stretch was pinned, but he couldn't keep it out, and Harrison has goal number 13 in the league this season. It's an awkward bypass, playing themselves into trouble, this is Harrison, and to win it, oh, straight to pin. For Cheltenham, just one win in the last seven coming into today. What a hit. Harrison again. Harrison is against the defender. One there in there as well. This is Harrison trying the overhead. Harrison waiting for support, Kiriton providing it in the middle, Harrison might go it alone himself here, pulls it back for Kiriton! Great opportunity, Kiriton, just put it straight out, slow cooking the run in this first half. High cross, up towards Byron, Harrison tips over by Roach, save. 
And the nature of the show, him to the net goes. Harrison and Newsom, McGlashan putting it in. And Chapman take the lead. Very not interested in those appeals. Absolutely bucketing you down here at Highbury. And the space here for McGlashan, who's around Davis. And McGlashan makes it two. And Arch on them on their way. To an impressive so three. Seems like he's never got time because he writes every note and he writes every line. And I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind. It's like a sign of getting them in his head every time. Before he even touches the key, he was speaking to run. And those motherfuckers he runs with. We're in the lead here. And we almost get a second as well through Deering. It's a good save by Duke. He's not redeemed himself on that error that they killed. Again, played in by Richards, good ball over the top, oh it's an awkward one for the goalkeeper, who doesn't deal with it, Matt Duke, and Jamie Curtin scores for Cheltenham, Chris Wilders, Harrison gets the better of Byron Anthony, who thought he should have had a free kick, Harrison, Deering, and again for McGlashan, whose pace has caused Andrew Hughes all sorts of problems. He can't hit the target. No way. McGlashan. Harrison taking over and still going. Still going, Harrison, and then going down. He wanted the penalty. Comes out for John Barty to swing in the cross. And there is Jermaine McGlashan. Cheltenham do have the lead. Stealing in for his sixth goal of the season. His second in three games.